now. Philotech programming software is simple and easy to use. First, we can input comments about the job, the job number, customer name, or revision level, or any pertinent data that you would like to put in there. We then define the panel size, the X and Y dimensions, the panel thickness, the web thickness, a web offset, if you like, and the table feed rate. You then can select whether you want to use auto turning, auto unloading, or auto loading. To input the scoring coordinates, we go to Edit and simply type in the scoring coordinates. To run the job, we simply click on Run. And if any changes have been made, it will ask you first if you'd like to save the changes, prompt you with the file name. I click Run, and I can choose to score side 1, which is X, or side 2, Y, or both. I will select both. Then the program is downloaded. And the operator is presented with the run screen. At this point, he can simply press cycle start, and the program will execute. If in the beginning, he has selected to use auto turn, auto unload, and auto load, that whole process will take place. He can quickly, if he would like to run the job manually, that is load the panels manually, and turn them manually, he simply has to deselect these options. Also, if you would like to run the panel in test mode, you can simply click test mode or test score. And with that, it will just nick the edges of the panel without actually scoring the entire panel. And they can then take that to an XY coordinate machine to verify that it is the correct job and the correct coordinates. Cutter changes are extremely easy, requiring only a few minutes. The guide roller can be easily lifted out of the way and stored. And with two simple tools which are supplied with the machine, the cutter is removed from the shaft. And then replaced with a new cutter. Okay. The cutter is then re-secured, and the guide roller put in place. The only thing now that the operator needs but to load. load. Now, now. This is the Philotech automatic load, turn, and unload scoring machine. a panel being presented to the centering station and two tooling pins pre-position the panel. If the positioning is not successful, it tries again.
now the X and Y axis. The turning device and the Y axis meet at the same time for efficiency. Now we'll see the panel being turned. And once the turning is successful, the loader arm returns to the centering station and another panel is then loaded. And now we'll see the panel go to the unload position while the next panel is brought in. Here we see the machine from the end of the centering station. Panels can be pre presented to the centering station either by readily available stackers or your own inline system. Now we'll see the panel being turned. Once that is successful, the loading arm returns. Now we get to see a close-up view of the centering pins pre-positioning the panel before it is presented to the registration pins in the plant. The top angle of the centering pins positioning the panel. Through the, 